Absolute Value, Wikipedia Article Audio In mathematics, the absolute value or modulus x of a real number x is the non-negative value of x without regard to its sign. Namely, x equals x for a positive x, x equals ax for a negative x, and 0 equals 0. For example, the absolute value of 3 is 3, and the absolute value of a3 is also 3. The absolute value of a number may be thought of as its distance from zero. Generalizations of the absolute value for real numbers occur in a wide variety of mathematical settings. For example, an absolute value is also defined for the complex numbers, the quaternions, ordered rings, fields and vector spaces. The absolute value is closely related to the notions of magnitude, distance, and norm in various mathematical and physical contexts. Terminology and Notation Definition and Properties In 1806, Jean Robert Argand introduced the term module, meaning unit of measure in French, specifically for the complex absolute value and it was borrowed into English in 1866 as the Latin equivalent modulus. The term absolute value has been used in this sense from at least 1806 in French and 1857 in English. The notation X, with a vertical bar on each side, was introduced by Carl Weierstrass in 1841. Other names for absolute value include numerical value and magnitude. In programming languages and computational software packages, the absolute value of X is generally represented by ABS, or a similar expression. The vertical bar notation also appears in a number of other mathematical contexts, for example, when applied to a set, it denotes its cardinality. When applied to a matrix, it denotes its determinant. Vertical bars denote the absolute value only for algebraic objects for which the notion of an absolute value is defined, notably an element of a normed division algebra like a real number, complex number, quaternion. A closely related but distinct notation is the use of vertical bars for either the Euclidean norm or subnorm of a vector in r, n, although double vertical bars with subscripts, a, 2, and, a, a, respectively are a more common and less ambiguous notation. For any real number x, the absolute value or modulus of x is denoted by x and is defined as the absolute value of x is thus always either positive or zero, but never negative since x0. From an analytic geometry point of view, the absolute value of a real number is that number's distance from zero along the real number line, and more generally the absolute value of the difference of two real numbers is the distance between them. Indeed, the notion of an abstract distance function in mathematics can be seen to be a generalization of the absolute value of the difference. Real numbers Since the square root symbol represents the unique positive square root, it follows that is equivalent to the definition above, and may be used as an alternative definition of the absolute value of real numbers. Complex numbers The absolute value has the following four fundamental properties that are used for generalization of this notion to other domains. Non-negativity, positive definiteness, and multiplicativity are readily apparent from the definition. To see that subadditivity holds, choose, i, from, a, 1, 1, so that, i, a, plus, b, a per thousand yen, zero. Since, i, x, a per thousand, x, 
for real, x, regardless of the value of, i, chosen, subadditivity follows from the calculation, a, plus, b, equals, i, a, plus, b, equals, i, a, plus, i, b, a per thousand, a, plus, b. Some additional useful properties are given below. These are all implied by the four properties above. Proof of the triangle inequality for complex numbers. Two other useful properties concerning inequalities are Absolute value function These relations may be used to solve inequalities involving absolute values. For example, Relationship to the sine function The absolute value, as distance from zero, is used to define the absolute difference between arbitrary real numbers, the standard metric on the real numbers. Since the complex numbers are not ordered, the definition given at the top for the real absolute value cannot be directly applied to complex numbers. However the geometric interpretation of the absolute value of a real number as its distance from zero can be generalized. The absolute value of a complex number is defined by the Euclidean distance of its corresponding point in the complex plane from the origin. This can be computed using the Pythagorean theorem, for any complex number. Derivative where x and y are real numbers, the absolute value or modulus of z is denoted z and is defined by where re equals x and im equals y denote the real and imaginary parts of z, respectively. When the imaginary part y is zero, this coincides with the definition of the absolute value of the real number x. When a complex number z is expressed in its polar form as with r equals r e z 2 plus i m z 2 a per thousand yen 0 plus backslash kick 0 is the argument of z, its absolute value is since the product of any complex number z and its complex conjugate, z, a, equals, x, a, i, y, equals x e, with the same absolute value, is always the non-negative real number, x, 2, plus, y, 2, the absolute value of a complex number can be conveniently expressed as Antiderivative Resembling the alternative definition for reals, x, equals, x, a, x, dot. Distance The complex absolute value shares the four fundamental properties given above for the real absolute value. d satisfies the ultrametric inequality, d, x, y, a per thousand, max, d, x, z, d, y, z, for all x, y, z and f, v, a, k, equals, 1, n, 1, n, a, n, v, n backslash in backslash math, is bounded in r, v, a, k, equals, 1, n, 1, a per thousand, 1, backslash lek 1 backslash, for every, n, a, n, dot, v, a, a per thousand, 1, a, v, 1, plus, a, a per thousand, 1, for all, a, a, f, v, a, plus, b, a per thousand, m, a, x, v, a, v, b, backslash backslash, for all, a, b, a, f. 
In the context of abstract algebra, since the positive real numbers form a subgroup of the complex numbers under multiplication, the multiplicative property implies that we may think of absolute value as an endomorphism of the multiplicative group of the complex numbers. Importantly, the property of subadditivity extends to any finite collection of n complex numbers, z, k, k, equals, 1, n, s. This inequality also applies to infinite families, provided that the infinite series, a, k, equals, 1, a, z, k, z, is absolutely convergent. If integration is viewed as the continuous analog of summation, then this inequality is analogously obeyed by complex valued, measurable functions, f, r, a, c, backslash to backslash mathp, when integrated over a measurable subset, e. Generalizations Ordered rings Fields Vector spaces As a special case The triangle inequality, as given by, A, can be demonstrated by applying three easily verified properties of the complex numbers, namely, for every complex number, Z, A, C. Proof of, A, choose, C, such that, C, equals, 1, and, a, k, z, k, equals, c, a, k, z, k, z equals c, summed for, 1, a per thousand, k, a per thousand, n, the following computation then affords the desired inequality. It is clear from this proof that equality holds in, a, exactly if all the c z k are non-negative real numbers which in turn occurs exactly if all non-zero z k have the same argument i.e. z k equals a k i equals a backslash zeta for a complex constant i and real constants a k a per thousand yen, zero, backslash kick zero, four, one, a per thousand, k, a per thousand, n. Since, f, measurable implies that, f, is also measurable, the proof of the inequality, a, a, proceeds via the same technique, by replacing, a, k, with, a, E, D, X, DX, and, Z, K, with, F, X. The real absolute value function is continuous everywhere. It is differentiable everywhere except for X equals zero. It is monotonically decreasing on the interval and monotonically increasing on the interval. Since a real number and its opposite have the same absolute value, it is an even function, and is hence not invertible. The real absolute value function is a piecewise linear, convex function. Both the real and complex functions are idempotent. Composition algebras the absolute value function of a real number returns its value irrespective of its sign, whereas the sine function returns a number's sign irrespective of its value. The following equations show the relationship between these two functions. Or and for x a per thousand zero. Notes The real absolute value function has a derivative for every x a per thousand zero, but is not differentiable at x equals zero. Its derivative for x a per thousand zero is given by the step function. The subdifferential of x at x equals zero is the interval. 
the complex absolute value function is continuous everywhere but complex differentiable nowhere because it violates the Kochia Euro Riemann equations. The second derivative of x with respect to x is zero everywhere except zero, where it does not exist. As a generalized function, the second derivative may be taken as 2 times the Dirac delta function. The antiderivative of the absolute value function is where c is an arbitrary constant of integration. The absolute value is closely related to the idea of distance. As noted above, the absolute value of a real or complex number is the distance from that number to the origin, along the real number line, for real numbers, or in the complex plane, for complex numbers, and more generally, the absolute value of the difference of two real or complex numbers is the distance between them. The standard Euclidean distance between two points and in Euclidean n space is defined as this can be seen as a generalization, since for a 1 and b 1 real, i.e. in a 1 space, according to the alternative definition of the absolute value. And for a equals a 1 plus i a 2 plus i a and b equals b. 1 plus i b 2 plus i b complex numbers i.e. in a 2 space the above shows that the absolute value distance for real and complex numbers agrees with the standard euclidean distance which they inherit as a result of considering them as one and two dimensional euclidean spaces respectively the properties of the absolute value of the difference of two real or complex numbers, non-negativity, identity of indiscernibles, symmetry and the triangle inequality given above, can be seen to motivate the more general notion of a distance function as follows. A real valued function d on a set x a x is called a metric on x, if it satisfies the following four axioms. The definition of absolute value given for real numbers above can be extended to any ordered ring. That is, if A is an element of an ordered ring R, then the absolute value of A, denoted by A, is defined to be where A is the additive inverse of A, 0 is the additive identity element, and N and A per thousand yen have the usual meaning with respect to the ordering in the ring. The four fundamental properties of the absolute value for real numbers can be used to generalize the notion of absolute value to an arbitrary field, as follows. A real valued function V on a field F is called an absolute value if it satisfies the following four axioms. Where zero denotes the additive identity element of F. It follows from positive definiteness and multiplicativity that V equals 1, where 1 denotes the multiplicative identity element of F. The real and complex absolute values defined above are examples of absolute values for an arbitrary field. If V is an absolute value on F, then the function D on F A F, defined by D equals V, is a metric and the following are equivalent. An absolute value which satisfies any of the above conditions is said to be non-Archimedean, otherwise it is said to be Archimedean. Again the fundamental properties of the absolute value for real numbers can be used, with a slight modification, to generalize the notion to an arbitrary vector space. A real valued function on a vector space V over a field F represented as a euro a a euro, is called an absolute value, but more usually a norm, if it satisfies the following axioms. For all a in f, and v, u in v. 
The norm of a vector is also called its length or magnitude. In the case of Euclidean space Rn, the function defined by is a norm called the Euclidean norm. When the real numbers R are considered as the one-dimensional vector space R1, the absolute value is a norm, and is the p-norm for any p. In fact the absolute value is the only norm on R1, in the sense that, for every norm a euro a a euro on R1, a euro x a euro equals a euro 1 a euro a x. The complex absolute value is a special case of the norm in an inner product space. It is identical to the Euclidean norm, if the complex plane is identified with the Euclidean plane R2. Every composition algebra A has an involution x A x asterisk called its conjugation. The product in A of an element x and its conjugate x asterisk is written n equals x x asterisk and called the norm of x. The real numbers A, complex numbers A, and quaternions A are all composition algebras with norms given by definite quadratic forms. The absolute value in these division algebras is given by the square root of the composition algebra norm. In general the norm of a composition algebra may be a quadratic form that is not definite and has null vectors. However, as in the case of division algebras, when an element x has a non-zero norm, then x has a multiplicative inverse given by x asterisk slash n.